The fourth day of the NASFAS National Annual Women's Week was for the celebration of the elderly and widows in the society. The program started with a health screening and consultation session where the elderly were screened for sugar level tests, blood pressure and BMI respectively. More than 50 of the elderly, majorly women, turned up for the health screening exercise where some were given drugs, while drugs were prescribed for some, and referral was also given to some of the elderly who were at the exercise. This was followed by a lecture by the former Commissioner for Home Affairs in Lagos State, Dr. Abdelakim Abdelatif, Honorable Yekwe. The lecture which centers on gratitude. He explained why it is a necessity for everyone to be grateful to Allah for his mercies that can be quantified irrespective of the condition or challenge one may be facing. Well, it's to ensure that we are grateful to Allah. Uh, the main objective behind religion is gratitude. Show gratitude to Allah for creating you at all and uh, blessing you, bestowing upon you things you did not even ask for. You did not ask for life. You did not ask for growth and development. Allah is the Lord of word and opposite. He gave some and he denied others. What he gave you is what he wants you to use to earn your place in the journey. That should be your focus. Do not be distracted by what he has given to others. Number two, this world is about trials. You are in an, in an examination hall. Be focused on your own questions. If he gives, he wants gratitude. If he denies, he wants patience. So be grateful. Number three, be good to others. Life is about benefiting others. When we were young, we were taking care of our parents. Allah wants us to reciprocate that when they become old. Nasfat is doing a great job by taking care of the elderly, the widows, and those who are challenged. So it is a call upon every one of us to make sure that you discharge these duties. Your focus should be how to earn the pleasure of Allah. So Nasfat has set an example, and all of us must ensure that we maximize you know, and enhance the capacity of others. And that is the only way we can earn Ali Jannah. The participants at the event were also reminded of various ways to keep healthy and live a healthy lifestyle.
Various activities such as grand recitation, victory, among others, were showcased by the elderly and widows. Dignities who joined to celebrate the elderly and widows at the event included Honorable Member of Lagos State House of Assembly representing Agege Constituency 2, Honorable Abdul Karim Jubril Ayodeji, and many government top officials were present to celebrate and honor the elderly and widows. The NASFAT National Women Affairs Secretary, Alaja Suiba Bola Kupolati, commended the committee in charge for celebrating the elderly and widows in the society. Over 50 elderly and widows were presented with a take-home gift package which contains food items, toiletries, fabrics, jewelries, among others. <laughs> I'm 
The high point of the celebration was the cutting of the cake. While the chairperson for elderly and widows planning committee, Alaja Sekina Siamiyu, concluded the show with a vote of thanks done with songs of praises to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and everyone who contributed to the reality and the success of the program for the day four of the 24th Nasrat National Annual Women's Week. From Alausa, Ikeja, the venue for the Nasfat elderly and widow celebration occasion. Fauzi Salakosoni reporting for Keen Media.